Welcome to Breakout, the all-new instructional breakdance video cassette. Inside, you'll see breakdancers in action and be carefully shown the exact techniques used in breakdancing by a professional breakdance teacher. You'll learn how to do waving, how to master the art of robotics, how about an in-depth look at the Michael Jackson moonwalk. You'll see how to do it through our slow motion demonstration. Waving, ticking, king tuts, robotics, sidewalks, mime walks, front and back moonwalks, leg swipes, freezes, leg stalls, tripping legs, seat spins, back spins, pinwheels. You'll learn all these and more in the all new Breakout One instructional breakdance video cassette. You've seen these moves on solid gold, Beach Street film, in the hip hop culture and on your local corner. Now you too can learn the correct way to perform break dancing from your own instructional Breakout One video cassette. Breakout One is a mixture of outdoor demonstration sequences and indoor instructional sequences, which will definitely help improve you and your friends' break dancing skills. And now let's go into the studio for our first class. Hi, now before we're going to get anything going, what we're going to do before we do back spins or head spins or arm ticks or anything, the important thing is to have a really good warm up, okay? First of all, I'm going to introduce my assistants, Derek and Larry, and they're going to give me a hand in showing you how to warm up, okay? We're going to start with arm circles. I want you to put your arms out straight, circle them in a forward motion. Go. That's it. Nice and big. Keeping those arms going fairly quickly so you feel your shoulders really stretching it out, okay? Now we're gonna change direction, go back the other way. Nice and big. Okay, all right. Stretching them all the way out. Now, put your hands on your hips. That's it, we're gonna roll the head around to warm up the back of the neck, okay? Let's go. Rolling the head around. That's it. Nice and big. Okay, change direction, go the other way. Good. All right, now side to side. And front to back. Okay, next thing down is we're gonna warm up our hips. Hip circles, pushing the hips out, forward, to the side, and back. Out, forward, side, and back. Always pushing them out. Stretching them away. Okay, now we're gonna change direction. Go the other way. Good. Stretching them out, all the way out. Okay, now, okay, now I want you to put your arms up. We're gonna do big arm circles. I want you to touch the ground as you go by, okay? Ready, let's go. Around, touch the ground, and come up. Again, around, touch the ground, come up. One more time, and up. Good, that'll stretch it out. Now I want you to go down, try to put your hands flat on the floor. Make sure your feet are about shoulder or just over shoulder width apart, okay? Let's go. Reach down, stretch it out. Good. Okay. Come back up a little ways. Now I want you to put your hands close to the, to the middle of your feet, okay? Let's go. Hands down, close to the middle of your feet, stretching it a little bit more. Good. Okay, come back up one more time. This time you're gonna reach your hands right down between your legs and reach back as far as you can. Okay, ready? Let's go. Down, far back, and come back up. Good, okay, shake your legs out a bit. Okay, put your feet together. We'll touch the ground one more time. This will stretch all the back of the leg muscles, okay? Putting your hands, try to put your hands flat on the ground or as far down as you can. Good. Feel it stretching? All right. Okay. Come back up. Shake your legs out a little bit more. We're going to spread out a little bit. Make, so, make sure you have some room on the floor because we're going to sit down and stretch our legs out. Okay? Stretch down. Put your legs as wide as they'll go. Just so, just so there's a little bit of pain in here. Just, just a tiny bit. That means it's stretching. Put your hands out in front of you and crawl forward. Pulling your chest down. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Pull down. That's it. Good. Okay. Now we're going to go to the left side, grabbing the inside of your foot, and pulling your chest down again. Pull it down. That's 
it nice and easy. That's the most important thing, always stretching nice and easy. Okay, now we're gonna go to the right side, grabbing the inside side of the foot again, and pulling down, nice and easy, good. Feel the stretching all in here, that means it's working. All right, okay, now we're gonna bend our legs in a vertical position, like you're going over a hurdle. Bend your right leg, just like this, so that your legs make a right angle position. Grab the inside of your foot and pull down to the front again. Pulling down, stretching nice and easy again. Okay, up, down to the middle again, crawling out, pulling the chest down. Nice, that's it, all right. Now I'm just turning slightly, twisting over the back leg, just nice and easy. That's it, now change legs. Now repeat the same procedure. Make sure your feet are in a right angle position. Grab the inside of your foot, pull down. Nice and easy, okay? Back to the middle. Oh, pulling it down, stretching it out. All right, okay, and over the back. Just twisting it around, twisting it around. Good, now put your legs together, just like this. Try to reach down as far as you can and grab the inside of your foot. If you can't grab the inside of your foot all at once, just nice and down and grab the inside of your ankle and pull yourself down. Nice and easy. Good. Okay. Now we're going to stretch our shoulders. So I want you to get up on your knees, just like this. You want to put your hands out in front and then just sit back down on your heels, like this. Just like that. So that you're stretching your shoulders here. Try pushing them down, pushing them down. That's it, nice and easy. Good. All right, now this time, you're gonna stay on your knees, put your hands a little ways apart, and turn your shoulder in towards the floor. Just like that. Nice and easy again, okay? That's it, now change shoulders. Stretching it towards the floor. Good. Okay, now we're gonna go on to our wrists. So what I want you to do is take your hands, turn them to the outside, have the fingers facing the knees, put the palms flat, and just pull back a little bit so it stretches all the forearm, just like this. Make sure you're doing it nice and easy though. You don't want any injuries. Okay, now turn the hands over, putting the back of the hands down, just like this. Stretching them again, nice and easy. Don't put a lot of pressure on them, just a little bit. Good, okay. Now, one more time, fingers facing forward. Lean forward on your hands this time. Good, okay. Shake your wrist out, nice and easy. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put your right leg forward and your left leg back, and we're gonna slide slowly down into splits. This will stretch all the leg muscles real good. Okay, let's go. Right leg forward, left leg back. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Slide down. Okay, stretching it out. That's it. Okay, if you can, push yourself up. Slide to the middle. Okay, supporting yourself on your hands. You don't want to slip down and pull anything. Still stretching nice and easy, okay? Let's go to the left side. Just turn over. Stretching it out, nice and easy, good. All right, come back to your knees. Remember to stand up and shake your legs out a little bit. Okay, and just follow that along. It should be warmed up, nice and ready, and we can go on to doing other things.
Okay, now that we're all warmed up, let's move on to some basic arm waving. What I want you to do is put your hand out to the side a little bit, a little bit of bend in the arm, and we're going to start with the fingers. Putting the fingers down flat, and then you're going to put your wrist up and put your hands down, and then lift your elbow and your hand at the same time, making this right angle position. Now you're going to take the wave from the elbow into your shoulder, so all I want you to do is lift your shoulder up to your ear, just like that. Now from the shoulder, we're going to put it right into the chest, so pull the shoulder back and push the chest out front. Now the chest goes back, and the shoulder comes up, the shoulder goes down, and the elbow comes up with the hand again. Now drop the elbow, lift the wrist up, fingers, and roll it out. Let's go back the same way. Keep your arms up just like this, okay? Fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder, chest, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Roll it up the fingers. Shake your arms out a little bit. We'll try a little bit quicker this time, okay? Let's go. A little bit quicker, a little bit faster. Let's go. Ready? Fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder, chest, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. Back the same way. Ready? Fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder, chest, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers. Just following that along, you'll be just fine. Now we're going to go into some body waves. So what I want you to do is start with an arm wave. We're going to take it into the body slowly. So just follow me step by step. Ready? Here we go. Fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder. Now put it into your chest. Chest out like this. Good. Now from here, we're going to take it to the stomach. So I want you to roll your stomach out. Then I want you to roll your hips out. And then just sit down and bring your knees together, just like this. To bring the weight back up, all you do is turn the knees out, but don't stand up. Bring your hips forward first, then your stomach, then your chest. Then you're going to put it back out your arms. You're going to lift your shoulder up, elbow, wrist, and roll it out the fingers. Let's try it one more time, a little bit quicker, okay? Let's go. Fingers, wrist, elbow, shoulder, chest, stomach, hips, down to the knees. Go back up. Out, hips, stomach, chest, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and roll it out. Good, all right. Another trick we can do with waving is you can follow it with the other hand. When the other hand is doing nothing, you can follow the wave along the arm. So let's just try that. Basic arm wave, down the body, back up and out the arm again. Let's go, ready? Take your right hand, put it over your left, and go fingers, wrist, follow along, elbow, shoulder, into the chest, stomach, hips, and down to the knees. Bring it back up, turn it out, hips, stomach, chest, shoulder, following the wave, elbow, wrist, and roll it out the fingers. Okay, that's basic arm waving. Now we're going to show you it done just a little bit quicker. Okay, here we go. Try to follow it. Okay, another thing you can do with your arms, incorporating waving and really stiff mannequin movements, is what's called king tuts, or tut arms. Okay, the easiest way to do this is put your arms out, just like this, bend them up to make two right angles, and then just bend the hands down to make a third and a fourth right angle. These are what's called tut arms. And what you can do with them is you can turn one hand out, and you turn the other, both hands out, and change direction. You can have both hands out or both hands in. Your arms can be high or they can be low. Or you can turn them upside down like this. Or turn one up and one down. Change. Put them both back up. And then you can use your body with it. Turn your head out to the right and then your hips. 
change with the hands. Turn your head back and the hips. Nice and easy. Put both hands out. Turn your hips back square. Bring the head in square. All these different positions you can use. Okay? Let's move on to something else. Okay, another part of breaking or upper body breaking is what's called a mannequin, a robot, uh, a statue, whatever would you like to call it. It was made uh, popular by Shields and Yarnell on their TV show. What I want you to do now is pretend, just feel yourself really tighten up. Pretend you're a robot, pretend you're tight. I want you to hold a little box in your hand, just like this, with really, really stiff arms, stiff chest. Just feel it all tense up. And we're gonna move to the right side, still holding that box, and turning on the balls of your feet. Just like that. Just slightly back and forth, turning on the balls of your feet. Okay? And your whole body is gonna move this time. Okay, so let's go. Holding the box, turn to your right side. Nice and stiff, good. Turn back to the middle. All right, turn to the left side. Stop, back to the middle. Stop, good, shake yourself out a bit. What I want you to do with it is when you're moving to the right and the left side, is to stiffen up. Make sure that you know your body's gonna stop. When you go to the left side, stiffen up. Make sure you know your body is gonna stop, okay? Let's do it this time, a little bit of variation on it. What we're gonna do is when you turn to the right, we're gonna drop the left arm down and keep looking forward. We're gonna come back to the middle, holding the box, go to the left side, dropping the right arm down, still looking forward, and come back to the middle again, okay? Okay, now let's go. To the right side, dropping the arm, looking forward, nice and stiff, feel it, feel it, nice and stiff, back to the middle, holding the box again, to the left side, block it off, good, come back to the middle, holding the box one more time, stop, back to the middle, stop, back to the left side, stop, and back to the middle, stop. Okay, this time we're going to quickly go on and put a variation in it. You're going to turn, you're going to go down with your body, keeping your back straight. Just down, holding the box, come back up, back to the middle, and we'll do that on both sides. So ready? Let's go. Get in your mannequin position, go to the right side, stop, okay, go down with a straight back, stop, nice and tight, nice and stiff, come back up, stop, that's it, back to the middle, stop, good. Now left side, stop, down, straight back, stop, come back up, stop, Back to the middle, stop. Okay, relax, good. That's part of mannequining. You can variate that in, in every sort of way, using your arms up, your arms down, moving just your head, your whole body. Just basic stiff movements, isolating each part of your body by moving a wrist or the other wrist or just lifting the arms up and down or moving one arm and turning, moving the other arm turning your head, very stiff, bending, all sorts of variations on that. Okay, so try that, practice that, get that really good. Okay, let's go on.
Okay, now you've heard of all the different kind of walks you can do. Michael Jackson does the moon walk, there's the sideways walk, there's the back walk. There's all sorts of kinds. So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do the back slide. Okay? Made famous by Michael Jackson, of course, on the Motown 25. So what we're going to do is you're going to stand normally. You're going to slide your right foot back and point it behind the left foot. Then you're going to slide your left foot back and point it behind the right foot. Right foot back, point, left foot back, point, right foot back, point, left foot back, point. Okay, now we're gonna try it all together. All the way back, one after another. Ready? Here we go. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Let's go a little bit quicker now. Ready? Right foot, point, left foot, point, right foot, point. Speed it up a little bit. Push, always pushing off the toes. Good, okay. Now let's move on to the forward walk. Similar to the moonwalk in most respects as you're transferring the weight on to the toe. So let's try it, shall we? Okay, slide your left foot forward and point it. Now slide your right foot forward and point that. Left foot, point, always slide the foot flat. Right foot, point, left foot, point. Okay, let's go back and let's do it one more time. A little bit quicker this time, okay? Let's go. Left foot, point, right foot, point, left foot, point. Always sliding the heel forward. Sliding the heel forward. Okay, one more time. Last time, this time done fairly quickly. Ready? Here we go. Forward, point, 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 point. Point. All right? Good. Okay. Now let's do it just a tiny bit, a tad bit quicker. Let's go. Ready? Point, slide. Point, 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 point. All right? All right. Let's move on now. We're going to go to a little more difficult one, one called the sideways slide. Okay, and what I want you to do is this. I want you to take your left foot, plant your toe, slide your right foot back, it in and plant it right next to the left foot. Slide the left foot out, plant the toe, slide the right foot back, plant it in. Left foot out, slide back, plant, come in. Out, slide back, plant, come in. Out, slide back, plant, come in. Okay, let's try it just a tiny bit quicker now. One more time. So I can, you guys can see what it's like, okay? Let's go, ready? Plant, slide, plant, slide, plant, slide, plant. Always putting the weight on the toes, on the toes. Good, good, keep going, keep going, all right. A little bit quicker now. Good deal, you'll be walking sideways in no time. All right, now the last of the walks we're gonna do is a mind walk, which has been used for years by mind, and it's a walk right on the spot, which is the basis for all the walks, which is very, very easy to do. Okay, what I want you to do is with your feet again, I want you to plant your foot front, slide the left foot back and to the side, bring the heel in high, and plant the toe in the same spot. Slide it back, bring the heel in high, plant the toe in the same spot. Back high, plant, back, high, plant, back, high, plant. Slowly turn your heels inward, so you look like you're walking like a duck. Just like that. And that's the basics for all of the walks. Because from here, you can walk backwards, you can walk forwards, or you can walk sideways. And that's all the walks.
Okay, now we're going to start on some floor work. And what I want you to try is these are called leg swipes. So I want you to get down a little bit on your hands and feet. Just like this. And what I want you to do is we're going to do a little cartwheel. I want you to put your hand, reach your hand all the way over, and then kick your legs over in a cartwheel, just like this. Over and down. Okay, let's go back the same way. Hand over and down. Okay, try to bring your legs and hips over fast and very quickly and just land back on your feet again. Okay, let's go. Arm over, kick over, and down. Okay, back the other way. Arm over, kick over, and down. Okay, and those are leg swipes. Let's just do them a little bit faster now. Over, kick, down, over, kick, down, over, And those are leg swipes. Another thing we're going to do on the floor is what's called leg stalls. Okay, so everybody just sit down on your seat, put your hands behind you, bend your right knee. What we're going to do is we're going to turn towards our left leg and put the right leg in behind the left knee. Let's go. Over, hook, come back, change legs, over to the right, hook, come back, Change your legs one more time. Left, hook, come back. Now, what I want you to do is lift your seat off the ground this time. Bend both knees just a little bit. Change, hop change when you change your legs. Hook, come back, hop change, hook, come back, hop change, hook, come back. Now just speed it up. Okay, and those are leg stalls. Another floor movement we're going to go on to is what's called tripping legs, or a three-point floor shuffle. What I'd like you to do is just get in this position here, so you're nice and comfortable. Kick your right leg, and then turn over, and this is where the trip comes in. Trip over the right leg and put it down. Trip over, put it down, kick your left leg through, bring your hand back, put your left foot down, Put your right foot out, put your hand over, and trip, kick your left, change, trip, kick your left, change, trip, kick, change, trip, kick, change, trip, kick, change, trip. Okay? And that's what's called leg tripping or a three-point floor shot. Okay, now what we're going to move on to is the predecessor to the backspin. It's called the seat spin. And it's really quite easy. And I want you to get this first before we move on to the backspin, okay? So let's go. Everybody sitting down, just like this. Bend your right leg in a hurdle position like we did before. Now I want you to kick your right leg across your left leg and then pull them both in and do a seat spin. So let's try it again, a little bit quicker this time. Bend your right leg, kick it across, pull it in, and spin around. Okay, one more time, a little bit quicker this time. Ready? Let's go. Kick, pull. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, the first freeze position, which is called the resting freeze. And when we're, uh, we're gonna do the first freeze position, which is called the resting freeze. And we're gonna do it out of the seat spin. So I want you to kick in the seat spin, and when you're in, just cross your legs, your right over your left, grab your right leg, and lean out to the right side, just like that. Okay, let's try. Bending one leg again, kicking it across, your right leg kicking across the left leg, cross your legs, grab, and lean out. Ready, let's go. Kick, cross, and lean out. Okay, one more time, ready, let's go. Kick, cross, and lean out. Okay, and now we'll move on to the back spin. What I want you to do is assume the same position we did in the seat spin, 
Okay? This time, when you kick your leg across, your right leg across your left leg, all I want you to do is lean down on your left side. Okay? So let's try that position. Grab your right knee, bring it across your left leg, grab behind the leg, pull your knee to your shoulder, and roll up on your back. Okay, let's do a little bit quicker. Over, grab, up on your back. Okay, now, second thing we're gonna do, the third thing we're gonna do, is pull the left leg in. So let's go. Leg across, grab, pull up, pull the left leg in. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? Bring it across, grab, pull up on your back. Okay, one more time. This time we're gonna kick in fast, okay? Ready? Bring it across, grab, and pull up. Keeping your shoulder, your knees close to your shoulders and up high on your back. And that's the back spin. Okay, now what we're gonna move on to is what's called a knee spin. So get your pads out, put them on so you're well protected. Now, put what, your left knee down, stick your right knee out in the back, and slowly walk yourself around. That's it. Finding out where your balance is. Then all you have to do when you get your balance is speed it up. And there you go, you'll be doing the knee spin in no time. hope you've enjoyed Breakout 1. Coming soon, look for Breakout 2, which will teach you hand spins, head spins, windmills, knee breaking, locking, 1990s, hydraulics, tabletops, and group choreography. And now, let's get breaking.